Hello my friends, today we're going to be chatting about some new RMS bags, some of which technically aren't that new because they were supposed to launch for spring summer 2022 but what matters is that all of these bags are available now and I tried to select pieces for this particular video that were not our typical Birkins, Kellys and Constances. Not that there's anything wrong with any one of those bags but I wanted to share with you some new fun fresh takes on some iconic RMS designs and I do think that any one of these bags would be an amazing addition to your collection whether you are a seasoned RMS collector with all your staples under your belt or you are brand new to the world of RMS and you're still looking for the perfect entry-level bag, I do think that any one of these styles would be, they would add a really unique facet to anyone's collection and these are genuinely practical bags, bags that you can pull out and use on a regular basis, ones that are not too precious to be used. So without further ado, if you'd like to chat about some new RMS bags, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and keep on watching. Okay, before we jump into chatting about some of these new bags, I have two updates for you guys. Number one, I do have a fan going in this room because it has been so insanely hot in here that when I filmed my last two videos, I was literally melting. So I had to buy a fan for this room. I really hope it's not too distracting and it's not too noisy. I tried to test it before I sat down to film, but I'm not really going to know what it sounds like until I go on to edit this video. So if it's distracting, I do apologize. And if I can hear it while I'm editing, I will make sure not to use it in future videos and I'll try to find another solution. And then the other thing, which is much more important, is that you might have noticed that I kind of disappeared from Instagram. Not kind of, I disappeared from Instagram. I got an email from Instagram last week that my account is being, being taken down. I have no idea why. All the email said is that I my post didn't follow Instagram's guidelines, which made no sense to me because I have been on Instagram for about two years and I did not post anything out of the ordinary. I have been posting the exact same things. So I'm not exactly sure what happened. Perhaps someone reported me, someone who didn't like what I was posting because it just seemed weird that out of the blue Instagram would take my account down. So I have been appealing to get it back. They did say that it's going to be reviewed by someone if I think that it was a mistake. So I have been appealing every single day for the past week. There are no news just yet. So I'm going to wait until the end of the week and if I cannot get my account back, I will start a new one, which I will let you know in an upcoming video and I will also post about it on my community tab. But I did want to update you in case you try to get in touch with me, if you try to DM me, if you haven't seen my stories in a while or you haven't seen a post from me, that's why I am not the one who pulled my Instagram. It was Instagram who pulled the plug on me. So let's hope I can get my account back. It would be really annoying if all my pictures were lost, but it is what it is. I will make sure to keep you posted no matter what. But now that we have discussed all of that, let's jump into talking about some of Hermes's latest bags. And I did want to give an honorable mention to this bag, even though it's something that I have been talking about, which is the new Maximore bag. This is a bag that walked the wrong way for spring summer 2022. And I did talk about this bag in detail. I think it was my last what to buy from Hermes for spring summer. Personally, it's not a bag that I will be buying for myself because I am not really into mini bags right now, but I do think that it is an incredible bag if you're looking for a bag that looks like a million bucks but doesn't scream and shout the brand name a piece that is genuinely like a piece of art this would be an incredible bag to look into which obviously pays tribute to the brand's equestrian heritage and that horse bite inspired really beautiful sculptural almost jewel-like handle is just I mean, it is one of the most beautiful, most refined details that I've seen in a really long time. It's a bag that only comes in one size. I think it is around 19 centimeters, but I think it would fit quite a bit because it has a really soft structure to it. It's only available in Swift, but it comes in quite a few different shades, mainly neutrals. And it is a bag that you can not only carry handheld, but it also comes with an adjustable shoulder strap. Now the shoulder strap is quite thin, so do keep that in mind, but there is a shoulder strap that you do get with this bag. And if you're looking for a mini bag, something that is incredibly understated, something that is not really in your face yet, will elevate any outfit that you style this with, this one would be a good one to look into. And it's not 
incredibly expensive either. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's by no means inexpensive, but I do think for what you get and for what this piece would add to your collection, it is a reasonably priced bag. So if you are a mini bag fan and you're looking for something really special, this please do try to get your hands I on. I mean, you guys know that Hermes fans will turn anything and everything into a bag. And this piece has been incredibly popular for the past few seasons. It's a piece from the Hermes Beach Collection and it's actually a toiletry bag that comes in two different sizes. It's made of canvas and it comes in quite a few different shades from more neutral muted shades all the way to really vibrant poppy colors like vibrant pinks and orange. And it is the so-called breed a Brack toiletry bag, which is made of canvas. It does have, I think, a few different pockets on the inside and it is also lined because obviously it was meant to be used as a toiletry bag. A toiletry bag that features these two little, really cute little handles that you're actually supposed to use to hang your bag onto the back of the bathroom door. So if you're traveling and you don't have enough room to basically lay out all your cosmetics, you should be able to just hang this on the back of the door or in your wardrobe, but people have been turning this into a bag. I've seen people carry this to the beach. I've even seen people carry this around in the summer, which I mean, if it's a look that you appreciate, you go for it personally. To me, it is not the most refined, but if it's a shape that you appreciate, you'll be happy to hear that there is a new Hermes bag launching. I think, I'm not sure if it was supposed to launch for spring, summer or fall, winter, but it is launching now, which is basically a silk take on the exact same shape, which is going to be available in two different iconic RMS prints. One inspired by the brand's equestrian heritage, and then the other print that this bag is available in has a huge cult following. Personally, I don't really get the hype, but I am not really into any one of Hermes's jungle inspired prints, but it is a bag that's also going to be available in their iconic Tiger Royale print. So if it's a silk print that you appreciate, it's certainly something that you want to look into. And I do think that these bags are really special. And what's unique about them is even though they're made of silk, which this isn't the first time that we see a silk bag from Hermes, but these silk bags are supposed to have a special coating, which is supposed to make them longer lasting and a little bit more sturdy. And the shape is really quite similar to the beach pouches that we talked about. The main difference is that these are obviously meant to be worn as a bag. They feature a leather handle, which is actually made of hunter leather, and you cannot open them up quite as easily as you can the breathe up rock bags. So it is slightly different, but I do think that it would add a really similar shape to your collection. So if you were obsessed with those beach pouches, I think it is a shape that you will really appreciate. And it is, it certainly feels a lot more elevated and a lot more elegant. It's, I don't think something that you would carry every single day, but if you're looking for an evening bag, something that you can carry out on a holiday, something that will add a really unique facet, texture, and also pop of print to your collection without it being overdone or overly loud. This is a pretty cute bag to look into. Again, I think it is mainly aimed at the Hermes collector, but if you are a big fan of silk, if you love Hermes's scarves and prints, which is something that I do have a dedicated video on, this I think is certainly something that you will very much enjoy. A fan of things like the Kelly to go, the Constance to go, basically this wallet on chain inspired bags. Listen up because I have some great new options for you. And before I give you some of these new alternatives, let me just say this. If you are thinking of buying yourself a wallet on chain, please do not get the one from Chanel. I think that is a bag that should be nicely buried and put into the archives. It was fun while it lasted, but I think it is time to move on. And I think any one of these would be a much better alternative. So we're getting three new wallet on chains from Hermes. And let's start with probably the most exclusive one, the most elaborate new wallet on chain, which is going to be a Kelly to go that comes with a really unique special strap. It's actually part of the same collection as my exceptional Birkin, the Rock Range. So this is a Kelly wallet in 
box leather with palladium hardware that you can buy with a shorter strap that features all these really cool iconic Hermes hardware. So it does have some Medor studs. It also has some smaller round studs, which I think make this a really cool collector's piece. So if you are a fan of the Kelly to go bag, or maybe you love the Kelly wallet, but you didn't love that thin strap that the original Kelly to go wallets came with and you have been looking for something just a little bit more refined and elevated, this would be a great piece to look into. I'm sure it's not going to be easy to get because they won't make much of it, but if you're a fan of box leather, if you're a fan of the original Kelly wallet and you are looking to add it to your collection in a really special finish, this is genuinely not something that you can go wrong with. And I know a lot of you love the Kelly Wallet inbox because anytime I show mine, I get a ton of DMs and emails if it's something that I would be open to selling, which I am not. But if you love a Kelly Wallet inbox leather, I think you'll be happy to hear that now you can pick it up with a really cool and really special strap. And speaking of box, I have been seeing quite a few new SLGs in box. Well, not new styles of SLGs, but SLGs being brought back in box leather. I have recently seen the coffee being done in box as well as the burn wallet. So if you're a fan of box, I think this upcoming season you will find quite a few SLGs being made out of box leather and then moving on to some of the other bags both of which are from the brand's Shandong range which is a range that I am extremely drawn to you know me anything and everything Shandong I am obsessed with especially these days when I'm a lot more intrigued by these more understated hardwares which Obviously, if you know Hermes and if you're familiar with the brand's history, you will spot these pieces from a mile away and you'll know exactly which brand they are from. But I don't think that they are nearly as cliche or as widely recognized as a Kelly Twist closure would be, which I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think it is becoming a little bit overdone at this point. I think the fact that now there are a ton of different shoes every single season with the Kelly Twist closure. We have belts, we have jewelry, we have anything and everything with a twist closure. It is something that I just need a break from. So when I saw these new wallet on chains, I was extremely happy to be able to share them with you. So there are going to be two new Shandong wallet on chains, one of which is going to be an actual smaller wallet, which is inspired by an at this point discontinued Hermes bag. But this features an actual Shandong chain, which I think makes it incredibly special. It is a smaller, more compact wallet that comes with a removable but adjustable shoulder strap, which I think would allow you to carry this either as a tiny clutch bag, as a crossbody bag, and I can guarantee that Hermes will also tell you that you can turn this into a belt bag, which I feel like the size and the proportions would actually allow you to do that with this bag because it's not too elongated. I think it's just the perfect size for this to be turned into a belt bag. So if you appreciate a unique hardware, if you are looking for a small compact bag, something that genuinely is just a wallet on chain because this is not something that will fit your phone, I think this is a really special bag to look into and it is certainly a hat turning piece. And let's not forget that it pays homage to a discontinued Hermes bag, which I'm so glad they didn't just bring back because that discontinued Shandong bag was quite a bit larger. And I feel like if they just brought that bag back exactly as it existed in the past, it would have felt kind of outdated and just a little dusty. But I think doing it in this new shape in this new proportion makes it feel a lot cooler. So if you love a wallet on chain, if you're an SLG collector and you're looking for something really fun and different, this is a great one to look into. Now, if you loved the idea of the Constance to go and the Kelly to go, but you felt that they were just a little bit too in your face, this I think is one that you will really appreciate, which is the Shandong to go wallet. It is a wallet that's slightly larger and longer than the other to go pieces, so the Kelly to go and the Constance to go, I believe this one measures around 24 centimeters, which means that it looks a lot more like an actual bag. So if you're looking for something that you can genuinely use either as a wallet, as a crossbody bag, 
or as a standalone clutch bag. This is an amazing piece to look into. It's going to be available in Epsom. I think it's also going to be around in exotic skins and maybe some heritage leathers too. But my favorite detail on this bag is the enamel finish of the hardware. So it not only features this beautiful Shantong inspired clasp, but the clasp is also finished in the exact same color as the body of the bag. So obviously if you pick this bag up in black, the hardware is going to be in black. If you pick it up in green, the hardware is going to be in green and so on, which I think makes it even more expensive looking and feeling. Now, one thing that I do have to say is that the shape and that sort of origami inspired structure does slightly remind me of Moina's Gabrielle clutch bag, which you guys know I love, but if you prefer Hermes, if you prefer these proportions and you're a fan of their to-go line, this is something that I think you will very much enjoy. And it does come with the same removable shoulder strap as the Kelly and Constance to-go pieces, which you know, I have never been a fan of just because it's so thin, it's not adjustable and it's so basic that it kind of feels like an afterthought to me. But if you enjoyed the strap length and width, on the other to go pieces. This is something that, again, you're going to be very happy with. And this particular piece also feels a lot more like a bag on the inside. So it features four credit card slots and then a really, really thin little, I guess let's call it a pocket on the inside, but the rest is just one large compartment. So if you love a clutch bag, one that also comes with a shoulder strap, which let's be honest, is always a big luxury to have. This is something that I would love for you to put on your wrist. And last but not least, a bag that is completely different from all the previous bags that we discussed in this video. This is for all my casual friends, which doesn't mean that this bag is not beautifully done, but it is something that is incredibly casual. This is something that you'll just throw on and be out the door. You'll probably carry this to the grocery store. You'll want to carry this when you're running errands because it is an extremely lightweight bag, which as most Hermes bags borrows little bits of inspiration from their equestrian history and it is the so-called petite course bag which this equestrian inspiration is quite obvious when it comes to this bag because it is a saddle shaped crossbody bag or a belt bag depending on how you're going to style it it only comes in one size but it does come with different strap options. So you can either pick it up with a thin leather strap that's adjustable, which is the one that I would opt for, or you can pick it up with the thick woolly strap, which I would definitely not recommend that you opt for. I think it cheapens this bag beyond repair and it looks a lot more sophisticated with the leather strap. I feel like maybe if the woolly strap was in one solid color it would be better but in its current state it's not something that I would recommend. I think you're much better off getting it with the adjustable leather strap which kind of with that strap this bag slightly reminds me of the banana back from the roll which is a shape and an aesthetic that I personally really appreciate and if you love it too I think this is a bag that you are going to very much enjoy so I think this would be a fun bag to add to your collection and speaking of these sort of casual belt bag inspired pieces do keep in mind that we are getting a new Kelly belt bag which is going to be called the Kelly move it is a bag that's inspired by another Kelly bag which hasn't been in production for decades it was the Kelly belt bag so we're getting a new take on that with an adjustable strap that allows you to turn it into either a belt bag or a crossbody bag and with that particular piece you are also getting this tiny little pouch which is basically a miniature version of the exact same bag so you're getting two Kelly bags in one if that makes sense I mean you know if you love a Kelly bag it's something that you will very much enjoy I'm personally never a fan of these multifunctional RMS bags because I feel like they are a jack of all trades and a master of none they try to be too many things and they are unable to do one thing well like the Kelly Duns, but I did want to let you know that if you like the idea of something like the Petite Course, but you're looking for a bag with a Kelly finish, the Kelly Move should also be on its way. And my friends, it is your turn now to share your review in the comment section with us. I cannot wait to hear what you think about these bags. Do you have a favorite? Do you have a least favorite? Are you drawn to any one of them? 
please do share what you think in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. And while you're down there, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I really appreciate you being here and watching and stay tuned. I will of course keep you posted on what happens with my Instagram. Fingers crossed I'm able to get it back sooner rather than later. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and being here. And one thing is for sure, I will see you back here with a new video really, really soon.